Developing tonight, a frantic search for the gunman who shot and killed a couple driving into the garage complex in northwest suburban Buffalo Grove. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live outside that apartment building tonight. Charlie. Erica, good evening. Police are looking for a man in his 60s. They say he shot and killed a couple as they got out of their car in their garage here in their Buffalo Grove apartment. Police stressing that there's no threat to the community here, calling this isolated. But as we've been out here, we've seen a number of officers. They were active tonight as there has been no arrests. Tonight, the presence of the Buffalo Grove Police Department felt patrol circling the Cambridge on the Lake apartment complex. I was scared when I heard the news because, you know, my in-laws live in the building and they could be, they could have been in the garage at that time. Thank you. Oh, look at you Tracy Keir and her kids checking in on loved ones. They're um, older and we just wanted to make sure they were okay. And although they said they're okay, we wanted to just come and make sure they felt comfortable being here. Police are now looking for a man allegedly caught on surveillance video shooting and killing a couple in their 60s at close range inside their parking garage, similar to this one. Very nice people, very upset, very upset. Alex Pivar, a friend of the now deceased couple, says they were of Russian descent, kind and good neighbors. The dive team took to the pond behind the apartments to search for the gun used, possibly ditched as the shooter got away. The bodies weren't found for more than three hours after the shooting when a resident saw the couple unresponsive in the garage. Police calling the callous shooting targeted. I feel comfort knowing that. Now, the couple's names have not been released as police are still notifying family members. Police also not releasing a motive here tonight. Again, police say this was not a random shooting. We are live tonight in Buffalo Grove. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.